welcome to the program. This is Vivica Williams and you're watching Head to Head. Today we're talking about relations between Poland and Ukraine. In the past few months, there's been some strain between the countries with some changes in interpretations of history or contention over Ukraine's education law. In light of the president of Poland's visit to Ukraine this week, we want to take a new look at the relationship between Poland and Ukraine. Today, to answer this question, we have in the studio Sergei Haramchuk. He's the head of the Southeastern Europe Studies at the Foreign Policy Council Ukrainian Prism. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for inviting. So we know there's been some past contention with issues uh, that seem to have been mostly resolved in some ways. What are some of the issues that are still affecting the diplomatic relationship between Ukraine and Poland? Well, speaking about bilateral relations between Ukraine and Poland, it's necessary to underline that the situation has been much better uh, like two years ago. Mm -hmm. Now the situation has changed and to a large extent it is caused by the current situation in, in the Polish politics. Mm -hmm. Because the ruling party called Prawa uh, and Sprawiedliwość, which is uh, shaping the government right now in Poland, uh, it is tending to concentrate on the issues of history mm -hmm. uh, because it's very uh, well treated by the electorate of Poland. Uh, so they put these questions on the agenda, both in Poland, uh, in the relations with Germany, in relations with Ukraine, and nowadays uh, Ukraine has uh, faced the consequences of such a policy within Poland. Uh, however, the visit of President Duda is a good sign because uh, a few weeks ago the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Poland, Wasikowski, was still uh, hesitating whether to recommend President to come to Ukraine or not. Uh -huh. And anyway, President came to Ukraine and moreover they made few statements which are quite important messages both to population of Ukraine, to people of Ukraine and to people of Poland. For first, they emphasize that they are going to resolve the current tensions between two countries on historical issues by means of launching the Intergovernmental Commission. Okay. Uh, second, both presidents emphasize that they have common vision about cooperation in the security field which is very good for Ukraine because uh, now we also have problematic relations with Hungary and Hungary tends to block Ukrainian initiatives on, on, on our path to NATO. Uh -huh. uh, whereas uh, Poland confirmed that it will support Ukrainian intentions to, to join NATO. And uh, moreover, uh, since recently Poland is a non-permanent member of the Security Council at the United Nations and Poland promise to support Ukrainian initiatives at that level as well. Also, this is definitely a good finding. Regardless of the issues with national understanding, we still have support, or Ukraine still has po support from Poland. So let's talk a bit about some of the things that have come out of this. When you were speaking about uh, with uh, bilateral relations, let's talk about the LNG gas. So recently, uh, Ukraine received its first shipment of uh, LNG gas from the United States through Poland. So how did that arrangement come about and what are you seeing in the for future arrangements? Well, first, uh, I have to emphasize that it's very important uh, for the U.S. and for Poland to to develop this cooperation. And this was stressed by President Trump during his visit to Poland to Warsaw this summer when he attended the summit of 3C initiative. Mm -hmm. And at this summit, uh, President Trump said that he believes that uh, supplies of uh, LNG to terminal in Srinovsk, uh, city in Poland, uh, would be very important and would be a first step to even close a cooperation between Poland and the United States as the allies in different fields. And now when Ukraine is uh, the market for this gas, it's getting even more important because it's a clear link between three, three countries. And since we both know that uh, President Trump is very pragmatic, I do hope that the fact that Ukraine becomes a market will put Ukraine higher on the President's Trump agenda. Um, regarding, uh, regarding further cooperation in the energy field, it's necessary also to mention uh, Nord Stream project, mm -hmm. North Stream project, which uh, is the Russian initiative to connect uh, Russia and Germany, bypassing both Ukraine and Poland. Right. 
and uh, both countries are strongly against it, and they, both presidents ex expressed solidarity in their attempts to prevent this project from becoming the reality, which is also very important because Poland, uh, not only Poland, but the, the whole EU has to divers diversify the sources of uh, gas and oil. And uh, nowadays, uh, the new option is the United States, hopefully one day Qatar as well. And uh, anyway, Russia will remain the strong player, but it would be better if this player would be constricted by the rules and uh, uh, laws in Ukraine and Poland as the transit countries. And do you see anything in the works for uh, uh, cooper more cooperation between Poland and Ukraine? Do, have they discussed anything about this during the meetings here? Well, the discussion was uh, mostly declarative because, as I told you, the relations beforehand were quite tensed. But it's a very good sign that first uh, two presidents met, uh, second uh, President Duda met with President Poroshenko, uh, notwithstanding the fact that uh, probably not all in his party were so happy about this visit. So, which means that they are ready for cooperation at the presidential level. and. Uh, I also have to tell you that, like, I had a chance to meet President Duda two years ago when he was in Kiev just the mm -hmm. same day. And I had a feeling that that's a person with ambition and with a vision. And it's very important that he is in charge of developing bilateral relations with Ukraine because uh, by success of these uh, relations, he will strengthen his own political influence in his country. So he's in a good position then, you're, for, from what you're saying, he's in a good position to actually really help these relations with Ukraine. What else are you seeing with uh, development? You spoke a bit about NATO, uh, aiding Ukraine with NATO. Yep. Uh, first, we have quite, experience, quite good experience of cooperation with Poland because uh, we have the brigade, which includes Polish, Ukrainian and Lithuanian soldiers. And I do believe that's a good example of cooperation in the security field. Uh, second, uh, of course, Poland is interested in uh, settlement of conflict in the east of Ukraine, conflict with Russia and Donbass. And uh, we already have a very good uh, cooperation with, with, with instructors from Poland who train Ukrainians uh, how to counteract the Russian attacks in different fields, including uh, so-called hybrid attacks. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I think that cooperation in the security field was quite successful, notwithstanding all the other tensions, and I hope it will go on. And what other fields are you seeing that there's better possibility for cooperation? Uh, beside of economics and energy, which we already mm -hmm. mentioned, uh, Security and uh, security and energy, which we already mentioned, it's definitely economics. Mm -hmm. And um, here I have to admit that sometimes the Polish assessment of Ukrainians who come to Poland to work is a bit distorted, because quite often they are perceived as refugees, and mm -hmm. that was mentioned already by Prime Minister Shidlo and by a new Prime Minister as well. However, they are not refugees, because they definitely contribute into the development of Polish economics. And if my memory serves me right, two year, one year ago, in 2016, there was uh, some statistics that uh, each fifth uh, meter of uh, flats of mm -hmm. apartments bought in Poland is bought by Ukrainians. Mm -hmm. So, because Ukrainians have enough money to buy their apartments, to buy their blocks of flats. And uh, that's a very strong signal to Poland that Ukrainians should be engaged into the development of Polish economy. They're not economics. just migrant workers, they're actually uh, contributing to the economy yeah, and not. Definitely. Yeah, right. So, uh, was there something mentioned about this during the meeting, or was this something you see uh, leading to some kind of further discussions? Well, well, uh, the history was very vocal, mm -hmm. and uh, the launching of the Intergovernmental Commission, which will deal with the history, was uh, was probably the main achievement of the meetings. But mm -hmm. anyway, it's also important that we have these declarations about cooperation in the field of security. We have uh, shipment of LNG, and uh, which is very promising. And I do hope that the situation with Poland will go much better than the situation that we are facing with Hungary right now. So there's a lot of hope to be had. Yeah, sure. Thank you so much for Thank being you. with us today. Today we spoke with Sergei Herashumchuk about Ukraine-Poland relations. Thank you for watching Head to Head.